welcome back guys this is Ibrahim Khroishi here and today we are going to start the module 2 which is installing and configuring vSphere 7 and uh, this is going to be the second session in the overall uh, sessions which we are doing for those of you who don't know me I am Ibrahim Khroishi and uh, I am teaching you VMware from the beginning so uh, let's get started course content these are the modules if you haven't seen this uh, check out one of the previous video which has all the modules and the full agenda I will put it, uh, the link in the description below if you want to check it out but module 2 is installing configuring with VS and vCenter server so today we are going to check out downloading how to download vSphere 7 and also vCenter 7 from VMware website so we have a lot of modules to go through so without wasting any more time let's get started so first thing we are going to do is register and download the vSphere and then also the vCenter server while we are at it and then we are going to look at installing and configuring the v uh, the ESX server so let's get started open the browser so google.com and type download vsphre 7 enter download vm vsphere so there you go you are at the download page if you haven't already got a, um, if you are not registered with vmware i suggest you need to get registered while you're doing the download if not you won't be allowed to download this so basically um, you'll find the previous versions if you click on here we have five we have five we have as you can see six 6.5 6.7 and 7 as well um, so what we are going to do obviously we are going for vSphere 7 and then now you will be asked to log in as you can see it's I have already registered so basically all I have to do is log in if you haven't uh, logged in before what you have to do is you have to sign up yourself click on registration fill out the email address verification email address and um, obviously you need to fill out the complete form which is obviously your name cell phone number and if you are an individual or organization who want to use this and some more details and then fill out the capture code agree to the terms and conditions of VMware and then sign up once you have signed up you will be allowed to download the vSphere 7 uh, version for a 60 day trial period so let's sign in as you can see you get the download link here you need to click so there are obviously different licenses here you can see the essentials the essential plus standard enterprise and enterprise plus so you can download any one of these you have desktop and vSphere scale out so say for example we want to download we basically what what we are interested in is vSphere, vmware vSphere hypervisor esxi7 and vmware vCenter uh, server 7.0 so these are the two things which you will be downloading click on go to download and then it basically starts the download I have already downloaded these so I'm not going to download them um, I have got them here in software and then VMware ESX 7 in the same folder I have got vCenter server and also ESX 7 so that's how you register and download uh, the vCenter server but and also ESX so let's quickly show you if you click on download it will take you to the download link And then you you if you are not get if you are getting the error message you 
you either are not entitled or do not have permissions to download this product. Check with your VMware super user, recruitment contact or administrator. If you have recently purchased this product through VMware store or through third party, try download later. So what we have to do is you need to go and click on get free trial. That's when you will be able to get the evaluation version. And over here you can see I'm logged in as my personal user and then I can click view evals. Uh, but basically I'm going to register for this evaluation. So it's saying I'm not registered for it. Click on register for the evaluation. And then basically it takes you to the end user agreement to accept the evaluation which you are going uh, to do. So please, if you want sales to contact you, you can select that. If you don't, then you can leave it. Into agree the terms and conditions and um, now I will just put my name for community name and then we'll go ahead with the capture H C S accept the terms and conditions to join the community and then okay so it does have that name which I have so I think the username is matched so that is optional so let's remove that and it allowed me to download so the I wasn't able to download because the username was matching with someone else's or maybe it is mine already as you know I'm Ibrahim Qureshi um, click on start free trial and then we will be able to download ECS 7 the same way you need to go back and you can see 60 days remaining on your evaluation and you will be able to do the same for uh, the vCenter server so click on manual download and that's how you can download this vSphere 7 and do the same for vCenter server as well you need to go back and basically select vCenter server from here doesn't matter which vCenter server you select and then it will say you don't have permissions then you can go back and say obviously you are getting the same message as you saw here you don't have permissions you click on get free trial it will take you to the next page and then you just go through the terms and conditions and then you will be able to download it like i am able to do it here so as you are downloading this now i have two sessions uh, which i'm going to create one is uh, for doing an SDSX and one which is going to be uh, on my physical Dell desktop yes that's correct desktop which I'm going to install ESX 7 now the version of uh, the desktop model which I have is uh, uh, quite old I bought it last year I was running 6.7 and it was com the CPU was compatible with it and it still co is compatible with version 7 however you get I get an error message saying going forward it might not be supported because uh, vSphere 7 is trying to discount because it's trying to discontinue the older CPU models and obviously support newer more advanced CPU models but uh, so stay tuned to check out both these videos one I'll be doing the nested hypervisor and the second one which is going to be uh, uh, it will be me it, you'll see me and my desktop and I'll show you how we can go through the installation uh, as a new installation and I have done a similar version for upgrade which you'll enjoy I hope so be sure to subscribe click the notification button button and also hit the like button if you like this video thanks a lot enjoy watching and keep sharing cheers bye these are the reference so that's it for now guys so we have done the download so that's how you download the vSphere 7 ISO next up is installing ESXi I have done two different sessions on this one is going to be installing on nested hypervisor which is on a virtual machine uh, installing ESX on a virtual machine I have done a, a completely different one I have uh, got a desktop which I'm using uh, as my ESX hypervisor yes this is the thing uh, you can use the commodity hardware for running ESX you don't need to have a, a expensive server running and I have proved it I have run uh, is 
ESX 6.7 since last year on this desktop and um, I'm going to show you how to uh, how I'm going to reinstall it with vSphere 7 and I'm going to also do a upgrade on the same one with uh, from 6.7 to vSphere 7 so check out these videos uh, in the coming days and uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, these are the references which we went to VMware website to download the link so question of the day today is um, we didn't get to the installation but this is particularly for the <laughs> uh, installation DCIU so let's ignore that but let me know if you enjoyed today's session in the comment below uh, check out my blog, blog which is ajalops.co.uk and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, to get all the new updates from me. Enjoy watching and keep sharing and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Cheers. Bye.